these formulas are most important and by applying these formulas we need to get the answer and also we need to provide an ascending and descending order that is what the requirement basically so your first formula is that standard deviation divided by mean which will give us coefficient of variation coefficient of variation cv so arrange the following numbers by calculating the coefficient of variation in ascending order from the low to high descending order from the high to low so for every value that we get we need to apply this formula that is standard deviation they'll give mean also they'll give both the number they'll give simply we need to apply this formula to get the answer apply this formula on each and every variable which they give and coefficient of correlation that is r r is nothing but a covariance of x comma y divided by standard deviation x into standard deviation y covariance of xy divided by standard deviation x into so multiply the two standard deviation and the numerator is coefficient of sir covariance of x and y whenever they give coefficient of determination if they are asking us to calculate the r square if it is r square then generally r square is coefficient of determination this is r square is a coefficient of square of the correlation is a determination in determination it explains the variable so the same thing has been here r square is a coefficient of determination which is 1 minus rss which is residual sum of square divided by total sum of the square 1 minus residual sum of the square which is unexplained variation divided by total variation 1 minus so they'll give you rss tss so 1 minus rss and tss if you divide it and if you remove that value you will get r square you need to arrange them population standard deviation so this is not being uh, no need to calculate in this in this the problem is that already they are giving full data population standard deviation formula is that under root of 1 by n into summation of i equal to 1 summation of i equal to 1 x square minus mu square so they are giving the formula this entire value they'll give x square minus mu square 1 by n also they'll give just we need to multiply it we need to multiply this 1 by n with a summation i equal to 1 x square minus mu square this total value they'll give in the question only don't worry they'll give in the question only directly they are giving we need to just identify the number by multiplying this and this from the question binomial distribution variance equal to standard deviation square so standard deviation square is a variance so variance equal to n p q number of trials probability of success p probability of failure q n p q is the variance which is standard deviation square in binomial distribution in binomial distribution what is the probability of failure failure equal to 1 minus success that is 1 minus p equal to q or p equal to 1 minus q success equal to 1 minus failure failure equal to 1 minus success it will be like that 